My musical influences at a young age was, like I said, Dom Shaka, with the whole hairstyle and the crazy attitude, and Kwaito, like, I loved Kwaito. And then Aaliyah, like, I have a whole lot of pictures of her with positive affirmations. She's definitely one of my top artists. And then Salt and Pepper, like, my dad bought me a Salt and Pepper CD back in the day. I can't believe he got me a Salt and Pepper CD because when I listen to the words now, like, the lyrics are hectic. But at the same time, they were like just pushing women empowerment and stuff. Those were my influences, like strong, powerful female artists. So whenever I get a question normally from interviews, like, oh, do you think it's a male-dominated industry? I always get irritated with that question. I'm like, no. At the end of the day, it's just about like, if you're a dope DJ, you're a dope DJ. It doesn't matter about gender or anything. But recently, I was booked for this really, really dope gig. And then I got a call like two days before and they're like, oh, um, we've realized we have too many female hip hop DJs on the lineup. And I just like found that so ridiculous because I don't think that any male would ever get a call saying, oh, I think there are too many male DJs on the lineup. And then that's when I really felt it and I was like, oh, actually, there is a problem still within our industry. Like women aren't getting accepted and appreciated just for the craft. Like it's still about gender and it shouldn't be. It's just about music and it's about being dope. Like, art is super important. Like I love the fact that artists are open enough to channel messages through them. And I think without art, they wouldn't really be changed. I, I bring my change through music. Like I like to touch people's souls through music because I'm open enough to share music that touches me and like seeing people dancing and happy. Maybe that person that came out that night isn't feeling happy and they're feeling down and they've been through something hectic, but I play a song that they like and then they're there dancing and they're conversing and it also brings people together. So my way of portraying my purpose of changing humanity and bringing goodness is definitely through music. I think people were afraid and were always like just stuck in society and what they had to do and like making means to an end and not really focusing on who they are as a person. And our new youthful generation is really about just like pushing and breaking barriers and just like really listening to themselves.